What's going on folks? This is Kyle Cumberton from Parkway RV and today what I got for you is this really cool 2008 Damon Tuscany 4076. It is a very nice A-Class with a couple very interesting unique features I'm excited to show you guys. So let's just get right into those specs so we can check it out for ourselves. Alrighty guys, we have a total length of 40 feet 6 inches we have a height of 12 feet 7 inches we have a fresh water capacity of 95 gallons a gray water capacity of 51 gallons and a black water capacity of also 51 gallons it has 81,816 miles running on a Freightliner XC custom chassis with a Cummins engine capable of producing 360 horsepower and a crazy 1,050 foot-pounds torque. And it can comfortably sleep six. Alrighty guys, let's get in there. Okie dokie, we can come down here. Check a little bit of our pass-through storage. It is fabric covered. Now we do have a raised rail chassis, which is really nice, because then it gives you all this giant space underneath the chassis rails to store extra stuff. Gives you a little bit more than over the chassis storage. Um, really nice really beneficial Let's see already we just have a ladder and a mud flat back there I suppose What do we have over here? I'm assuming that are, that is our water tanks. We do have a furnace that is 34,000 BTU. We have an, a crazy 10,000 pound trailer hitch. Very impressive. One of the best I've seen. In here we have your 50 amp plug-in. We have a 10 gallon water heater. Here is our wet bay. And then the other side to our pass-through storage. I believe that's where our generator lies. We do have a, um, see, a eight kilowatt quiet diesel Onan generator. Alrighty guys, and before we go inside, let's just take a walk around and kind of look at the exterior quality of the, um, of the body. Uh, over here, it looks really great. All of our vinyl wrapping, still very clean. You can see we also have side mount cameras, which is a very rare for a 2008. It was quite the luxury feature back then. Um, over here, we can still see those decals looking great. Definitely did not bake in the sun its whole life. Alrighty guys, let's just step inside. Oh. 
Oh, there the stairs come. One thing I do really like about this um, door right here, this screen door, is it has an opening on the outside. A lot of the times, the screen doors, because they do connect to the front doors, will not have an exterior handle, and you kind of have to reach in here and fiddle with it, and it can just be a bit annoying, so it's really nice that it has that nice little simple fold out right there. Your electronic steps pull out for you. And then you can step right in. Here is our freight liner custom chassis we have these two leatherette seats they are in fantastic condition very clean still um, let's see over here we do have an Allison six-speed transmission there's your electric leveling um, we do have here is our camera system I suppose you probably can't see it just on the account of it's a uh, it's a CRT TV and they don't work well with cameras um, with the frame rate and everything it's just a little bit off um, let's see a Jensen audio system fantastic air conditioning this air conditioning is the only thing I have running in the whole coach right now um, I just didn't have to I, or didn't even think to turn on the regular AC and this whole living room area is still very comfortable very nice to stand in so that is really nice that this dash air is pushing all the way through this front cabin area um so that means when you're driving down the road or what have you you can keep your dash area on and it it'll it'll actually keep you cool you know it won't feel like a uh, like an attic over in this area very nice um, one thing that really blew my mind in here, super surprised about, I haven't seen this in a single RV yet, luxury or not, no matter how expensive it is, we have real tile with real grout. That shocked me. Typically, you just have laminate flooring. You know, there's nothing wrong with laminate flooring, especially in an RV. It really cuts down on your weight. You know, tile can be heavy, but with the benefit of tile, you get that, um, you just get that durability because laminate's one weakness is, well, it can be damaged by water pretty quickly. And, um, you know, it's just, after walking on it for three, four years, it kind of starts to wear out. So this tile is really fantastic, um, really great, and there aren't any cracks in it anywhere. It's still in fantastic sh uh, shape. That is an excellent addition to this Tuscany. Uh, let's see. We have a 12 cubic foot four-door Norcold refrigerator. We do have Corian brand solid surface countertops. They have this really nice accent line across them. Just a nice little aesthetic choice. We do have a convection microwave. Three burner stove with um, tops. And then over here we have our Heck, this might be an 80-20 instead of a 70-30, but um, a nice deep sink for washing dishes. Up here, we have our counter space. We have a little cupboard, and then this absolutely gigantic corner cabinet. Huge space in there. Could almost act as your pantry. Um, we have a little lockout extra prep space over here under the sink storage Some drawers for utensils another little cabinet area with a nice rollout storage tray Oh, I don't think I mentioned it yet, but our AC is 13, 
13,500 BTU. Um, we do have dual AC units, one in here, one in the master bedroom. Help keep you cool no matter where you're going, folks. Over here we have our nice little dinette with storage on either side. And then we have a little fold out extra table or extra sides to this table to make it a four person table. So if you wanna have guests over or if you have two extra people staying with you cause this can technically sleep for people, you have a nice dining space for everybody to sit at. Up here, we have a really nice little stainless glass cupboard. Very nice. It does feel like it should be in something named the Tuscany. Um, two European style leatherette seats. Um, I really like these instead of standard recliners. Other than the fact that they just look a little bit classier, I find them uh, a bit more comfortable, you know, because recliners have all those mechanics in them. There's just something a little more, um, I don't know, you know, you have to suffer comfort for function there. But I really do like these um, European chairs that have the secondary footrest. So if you don't want the footrest, you can just scoot it to the side and sit. Um, we also do have in-floor ducted heating, which is really nice, especially with these tile floors. You know, tile can get cold, so in-floor ducted heating will help keep this area a little bit warmer than typical tile would be. Over here, we have our really nice leatherette uh, pull-out couch. I believe it is a full pull-out couch, or is it just... Let's see. How's this gonna go? Let me figure this out for a second, folks. I'm just gonna set you down right here. I'll give you an angle. Oh, here we go. All right, so it is a fold-out bed with a um, air mattress on it, which can be nicer than your typical fold-out bed. One, because, uh, like I was just talking about with the recliner chairs, um, having that bed in there can kind of take away from the overall comfort of the couch. So if you have something that's a little bit smaller and compact, like an air mattress that you can blow up, the um, bed portioning takes up less space and you have more space for a cushion and comfort. Um, very nice. Up here we just have some over the head storage. A very good amount of it. These cabinets are very deep. Over here we have our entertainment system and I believe that the, um, that the 4076 initially came with a 32 inch TV. So um, the original owners must have upgraded it. They did a couple upgrades throughout. Um, you also have a nice Yamaha sound system in here. Um, up here also uh, the Yamaha digital surround sound. Also a DVD player up there if you did not see it. But yes, so it's been upgraded from a 32 inch to a 50 inch. Fantastic upgrade. Um, you know, 50, I think a 50 inch is kind of the perfect TV size personally. It's not too big to where it doesn't take up too much space, but it's just big enough to where little things on, on the screen aren't gonna um, lose your attention or you're not gonna miss out on them. So very nice that they upgraded it. Something over here that I also really like is this little um, kind of knick-knack shelf area they have going on here just in the middle of this walkway. I kind of like it because it feels makes it feel a little bit more like a piece of furniture than a built-in cabinet. Um, fantastic place to put knickknacks or uh, cool things you get from your travels and stuff like that. So you can put them in there as di display. Um, I really like that little feature. 
over here. Oh, one more thing that's pretty cool is if we look up, so initially when I walked in here uh, this morning and turned all the power on, I said, uh-oh, because I was thought there was an electrical error that, uh, but we just have a dimmer switch. It was turned down like this, and I thought some of the lights weren't working as well as the others, you know, but nope, they were just dimmed, which is really nice. You know, you can have ambient lighting at night, maybe a nice romantic dinner, maybe a fun, scary movie night, who knows, but you have options, and that's what's important. We do have um, a Furion AC vent over here, and as well as a fantastic vent system. Um, here is our central AC unit. Uh, you just plug in there, um, the vacuum goes right in there, and then you have your central vacuum system to help you cleaning, always a huge benefit, especially when you have a coach that has this much carpet in it. A central vacuum system can really come in handy. So I'm really glad that they thought that over. Oh, one more thing before we move to the other room. I almost completely forgot about this. One, I just want to say, look how nice these three windows look behind the two, two Euro style chairs. That's going to let a lot of nice natural lighting in. There's a lot of fantastic um, open window space overall on this side. So you're going to get great lighting uh, most places you go. And depending upon how you park, you can get really beautiful views out of these windows. But one thing I did want to mention was that we do have posable slides in here. And that's why you get this giant roomy um, living room area is because we have a slide on this side and a slide on this side. So when they push out, you get this really nice, big, breathable, airy living room feeling center. It's fantastic. I'm a huge fan of posable slides. I know if you've seen a lot of my videos, you'll probably hear me rant about them whenever I see them. Because they do really just help make your RV feel a little bit more like a real home. And that can get really important when you're starting to feel a little bit homesick. So that is always a huge beneficial feature. But come on, guys. Let's just keep going back down. Um, in the bathroom, we continue the tile. That is also very impressive. Typically, I would assume that because this is a smaller space, they would have just tossed linoleum in here. Much like typically they do in the bathrooms, they do not continue the Corian counters throughout. They'll do laminate counters in the bathroom, Corian in the kitchen. But this also does have those nice Corian counters in uh, the bathroom. You can see the logo right there. Now, something very funny, you probably might have peeped it a little bit when I pointed down at the floors, but I guess the previous owners really took the Tuscany name pretty far because they went with the Euro feel and gave themselves a bidet. Um, they are, it is an aftermarket bidet. If you weren't interested in it, you could um, just take it off the... Uh, the toilet very easily or if you're feeling adventurous, you know, hey, you're traveling out there You're going on adventures. Why not try new things? It's always there for you to try so um, Just made me smile when I walked in here and saw it because I make jokes about wet ba wet baths being European sometimes um, in here we have our AC two-in-one washer and dryer it does have one always a benefit up here, just some extra storage space. Quite a bit of extra storage space, in fact. We have a towel rack right here, which initially you might think that is a little bit of a weird place to have a towel rack, but I really like it. Um, it really keeps it out of the way, and you, do, you still won't have any issues grabbing it or anything. I think that is a really good little use of this space instead of just having a random weird negative space area right there. Okay, here is our shower. Pretty nice size, got a nice little seat right there. Absolutely nothing to complain about in here, folks. Our 
medicine cabinet. And then to the master bedroom. Ooh. Alrighty, folks, we have a queen mattress. There's some lights in here. Um, I suppose not. Not in the same way there has been around the coach. Um, oh, okay. Um, but here is the master bedroom. We have this really nice corner cut shelf over here. It gives you a lot of extra space. We have a 24 inch TV, I believe. Let me see. I probably have it written down. A 20 on the dot inch TV in the bedroom. Some over the head storage. Um, you know, built in dresser space. We have four or five drawers. They do. Um, another little storage area. Couple more shelves underneath. You have this nice step up. You do have very good headroom in here. Um, I don't have the exacting measurement, but I'm going to guess six, six ten to seven feet, um, it, or six eight to seven feet it should be more accurate. But I'll put the I'll put the exact interior height measurements down on the screen right here because I'm interested in well as well because um, it has this step up right here to go to the closet. It's about a it's probably about a six inch step up. Um, but when I step up, you know, I'm 5'9", and I can still stand very comfortably in here. I have about three inches over my head of standing room, so that's really nice. Um, so our taller guests, you know, add, what, add six inches to me, that's 6'3". If you're 6'3", you'll have no problem walking in here. Heck, if you're 6'4", or 6'5", you'll probably have no problem walking in here either. There's our closet space. You know, typically on these classes, as long as you're not about to be drafted into the NBA, you can walk around pretty comfortably. They typically have pretty good height room. Over here, we do have an audio system in the bedroom with a compact disc player. Um, see, we have, we do have a very nice locking privacy door. Um, pulls out like this and then has a lock right here I always really like when the privacy doors to bedrooms lock just gives you well you know if they're supposed to give you a privacy that's just a little bit of extra privacy for you especially if you have the the grandkids with you or any guest a kid can't just have a bad dream and then come running back here swing open the door and jump in your bed waking you all up at, at night, at least you'll have a couple of minutes to prepare for them running through here. Um, so that's a big benefit, a lock on the door. Alrighty, folks. Um, so overall, this has been the Dame in Tuscany. I, for one, have really enjoyed it. Had some very interesting features. The tile really impressed me. The, um, the bidet made me laugh. And overall, the cabinetry in here just looks really nice. We have a, night, a nice light color scheme, so it's going to let the natural lighting from these big windows really come in and reflect off all your surfaces and just give you a really nice, bright, full feel of the space in here, which is a huge benefit um, to me. Just makes it feel more livable, you know. As I'm walking around these things, because I've I've been doing this for a minute or a, a, a month or so now, I'm starting to get more comfortable with them, learn a lot about RVs, and what I'm trying to focus on a little bit more now is the livability of them, um, and talk about that as well as all the information. And I just think that this Damon Tuscany, especially for a couple looking to get around and just adventure by themselves is a fantastic livable space. It is um, more comfortable with these two posable slides than a lot of one room apartments you're going to find. Um, so that being said, let's get down to the pricing. 
the sticker price we have for the Damon Tuscany down here on the lot today is $74,900. Um, great little diesel pusher, only 81,000 miles may sound like a bit, but for a diesel pusher that's barely even broken in, so she's ready to go drive all the way to Tuscany or wherever your heart desires. Probably not Tuscany because you'd need a boat for that, but hey, who knows? Maybe you're industrious. Um, Alright guys, now for my little spiel here at the end. So, we are a family dealership. We have been open for 50 years. We have one of the largest used RV inventories on the East Coast. Also, we do offer upgradable 90-day warranties on all units 10 years old or newer. And I do want to remind you guys that all of our coaches come in as is. We do not do any surface services to them uh, pre-purchase just because we don't know how long they're going to sit down here on the lot. And we want you guys to get the best product you possibly can. Um, and when you come to pick it up off the lot, your salesman will walk you through the vehicle and then show you everything that we guarantee to work before you go re before you're ready to go drive it off the lot and get into some adventure. All right, folks. Um, now I'm just gonna toss our number down there on the screen in case you want to come check out the Tuscany or anything else we have uh, on our nice big lot. Um, now, folks, I'm Kyle Cumberton with Parkway RV. I hope you guys enjoyed this Tuscany, and I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Take it easy, folks.